All right, wanted to give you a little tour of the trailer that I bought for 1100 bucks. Um, stripped it down, removed all the wood, and I'm gonna be putting um, this channel right here to run the um, electrical. I saw that in another trailer company runs that, and I'll actually do one here and one on this side as well to kind of give it some reinforcement because um, I cut out the um, side right here because I'm gonna put in ramps. Uh, you can see the beginning of it. I got to put the other bar right there. And then I'm going to beef up the tongue with uh, tubing 3x2. Nope, actually 3x4 tubing. And I'm going to actually go all the way to uh, the axle to um, bring this over and strengthen that. I cut the old tongue off of here because it was shot. And in doing so, saw that this was all cut up here. Um, this is the new tongue. So the new tongue actually is going to fit on top of the um, the new tubing that will be about right here, and I'll cover that this area up with a plate, and then run along the side of this all the way over there and back. And I'll leave this, but utilize it. Now I'm going to, like I said, I'll put a plate over this, and I hope to put the trailer tongue or the what do you call it, the jack, back here a little bit so it doesn't hit the tailgate. Uh, then I got that at Harbor Freight That will fit right here and inside that I'll enclose um, I'm putting a new um, Seven pin connector inside here. There's terminals to run uh, on the new line that will go back along there um, Also, I saw this uh, another person um, I'm gonna not use this uh, I'm gonna actually take these guys and uh, weld them on Like that they'll be welded on and that way I can unscrew this to uh, change the chain out in the future just uh, this is like four bucks and I'll just weld it on at a nice strong spot so this is just temporary that I put here one thing I'm gonna have to figure out is the height of this to be able to use the wheel underneath this tongue uh, I might have to elevate that part or re-weld that at a, at a different height so I can utilize the wheel I like having to be able to push it around that having to lift it up all right, so a couple other things I've done. Um, this is a 16 foot trailer, by the way. I ordered uh, new tires. Those are 60 bucks each on Amazon. So you got two for 120 bucks and they're, they're five on five. And um, these um, axles here, I looked at the tag and they're 3,500 each, but there's no brakes. However, they have the brake mount Right there so I ordered and it's in here uh, new new brakes I also have the breakaway system with the battery that I'll put on there uh, since I'm getting new brakes so maybe we'll take a look at this and this is a, a, a light for the end of the trailer back there All right, just getting ready to weld this last elbow on, and then of course the the flat part will go be welded on later. But uh, this weight is um, or pipe wrench is basically bringing this side up a little bit, so um, it's flush. And then um, of course that made that 90 degrees from here over, and uh, get that welded up. All right, I just finished welding this on. I'm gonna put a bar here, a flat bar, and then the gate ramp will go right here. So I'll take it out. I'm also gonna weld a bar across here. I had to cut these out because it was right right in the way of uh, the ramp distance. Um, plus, if I'm gonna cover the, uh, the plate right here, this is kind of already in there. So I don't need that as well, but I might reuse this uh, in another place. So this is the second one I've welded on. I'm gonna do the other side um, and then maybe the the side piece of this um, bar. It's a U-channel is what I'm making. So the ramp will go right inside there.